Welcome, guys, to another episode of Lillian's Couch. On today's episode, I have a very close friend of mine. We've been friends for a couple of years, actually. He's one of the biggest stylists in Africa and very soon international. He's uh, on Forb list. He's a reality star, and not just any kind of reality star. One of the biggest reality shows right now currently trending all over the world. If you haven't seen it, Okay, I'm sorry. Um, my dear friend, Swanky Cherry. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? I thought you use news, scatter my eyes. Swanky, you came, like, Swanky, Swanky, ah, Swanky, first of all, 2022, you told me you're going to change. And you're going to start coming early. Swanky, you kept everybody waiting for you for three hours. Why? But when I arrived, guys, I can prove it. When I arrived, <laughs> she was still laying her edges. <laughs> so now, this is not my fault, guys. I arrived. 30 minutes before my call time ah. and nobody is speaking you can see it's just you and i 30 minutes before my call time and lillian was still there producer is that true producer is, is not inside now producer, they can hear producer. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm changing at least just one hour okay late. remove your glasses our lights are reflecting so they can see that i'm telling the truth one hour late i mean i was in my bed you know i did this for my girl Uh, anyways, I'm so happy you came regardless because I know if it's somebody else, Swanky, I'm here. Off, Swanky put off his phone. This boy, hey, <laughs> ah, if you're not his friend and you need him for something, I beg, call him 10 But hours. But I'm here now. You're here and that's mm -hmm. all that matters, my love. Tell okay. us about your fob list. I want to know. Uh, tell people, how, how how did it make you feel? Because, bro, I'm trying to be young for this and I'm okay. still not there. But very soon, <laughs> I'll be chasing with you. Soon. Oh, fob guys. That's for sure. Let's cheers to that. Okay. Cheers, baby. So tell us about your fob list. I mean, for me, it's like dream come true. You know, like growing up where you're reading like fob magazine and you're saying to yourself, you know, the sun. I wanna be rich, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -uh. and then you wake up one morning and it's literally happening. happening. And the most interesting part about me being on Forbes, starting with Forbes 30 under 30, it was in the pandemic. It was at the time when the world was literally shut down. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. good. It was good for me, and I moved from there to being on Forbes Icon. 2021 mm -hmm. to being on Forbes in 2022. Now it's just like every day I wake up, I'm on Forbes. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! He's copy, my copy now. that, I copy know. that. Every day I wake up, I'm on Forbes. Now it's like, yeah, it's what's like, up? It's like it's normal. It's not. It's, it's now normal, right? normal. So if I call you when I when don't when I call you, oh Swanky, if you see the Forbes, you're like, yeah, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. okay I'll, I'll look at it when I wake up. What is, okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> My dear, this is the energy, my 2022 energy. <laughs> I want my friend. My friend is on a different energy. Swanky, mm -hmm. I know you've been among the lucky ones in Nigeria. And it's not just because you're Swanky. It's also because of the hard work you, you put in. But do you think styling in Nigeria is a very lucrative business? I mean, as to stylists in, you know, developed countries. Um, obviously, of course it is. I mean, in Africa... In Nigeria, first of all, I mean, now it's become a thing. In the past, when I started styling, about 20, 10, 10, 12 years ago, when I started styling, mm -hmm. I had to explain to people what it means. I had to let them know. It's not just dropping a dress on you. It's a whole lot. It's your hair. It's your makeup. It's your nails. It's your pose. It's everything. Accessories. Everything. So it's not just people. Sometimes when people hear, oh, stylist, they say, ah. It's it, they even do not just to put dress. Mm -hmm. Put the dress on and see if you get the same effect. You know what I mean? But now, I feel like, I mean, I'm one of the pioneers of the industry right now, where when I look back and I see young people who are, you know, getting into styling, mm -hmm. trust me, I am one of the inspirations. So it has become a lucrative business now because of the efforts that, you know, a lot of us have put into it. You know what I mean? And Compared to the Western world, two things, right? I'll tell you this for free. Firstly, me as Swanky, the lifestyle that I have, the life that I'm living, mm -hmm. even my friends that are Hollywood stylists, they don't have that lifestyle. They can't afford the lifestyle. How did you get started in fashion? Um, one thing about me that people don't realize is I started my journey way so early and 
when I launched my brand in 2012, I was just that guy on the street who would usually just dress nicely, go mm -hmm. out, you know, go out with like grown up people and have access to places, you know what I mean? And at some point people are like, Swanky, what's up? What's, what's going on with you? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm young, listen, I'm just about to get into uni. Like, I'm just living my life, you know what I mean? And I decided to make some waistcoats and some shoes and some bow ties at the time in 2012 when I launched my brand, because I didn't even start as a stylist. Everything was made with like Ankara fabric and like denim and like the backpacks. They trended across Africa. And at the time, my bow tie cost $100 in 2012 when I first launched my brand in July. So it's like now when people hear, oh, Smanky charged me $35,000, they are wondering, lost. 12 years ago, a bow tie cost $100. So wait you know what say? I, this is best this like, my friend, <laughs> charged me for my, bed, my birthday shoot. You saw Kadibi posted, they were like, Kadibi posted, like, Swanky, I was this boy, this guy, like, if you know why he charged me. So babe, like people don't understand the journey. My first job as a stylist, I was styling Davido's video in New York in 2012. I've come such a long way. But at the time when I started my brand, I did not used to reveal myself. You know, I usually only post my work, and people are like, yo, what the hell? Where is this guy? Who are you? You know? Mm -hmm. So, like, two years down the line, I decided to start going for red carpets and stuff. And people even got more attached to me. So it just became. Because you're swag, whole... obviously. <laughs> like, you don't know. It just became so a whole thing. Thank you, wear a hoodie and be, uh, and, be, and be bending down to adjust his clients. It just became a whole thing, you know, for me. And now it's like I'm ripping everything. You know, like we said on the phone when I was talking to you, like 2022. I'm not even the working. ripping here, I'm my only, friend. Minimum I'm only collecting effort, maximum, maximum enjoyment. enjoyment. <laughs> ah, my Li friend. Literally. I just want to say, well done. You deserve all the flowers Merci. in the world. Merci. Swanky, I see how much I've learned so much from you. All the times I've called Swanky to work for me on a project or something, Swanky puts in the work. So you guys see Swanky doing the uh, slaying and everything. If Swanky has to bend down to buckle your shoes, for that shoe to give him what he wants. So okay, with that he's slaying, eh? He's not sending somebody, he's not sending a PA to please go and help me. No, he's doing it himself. So Anki will go out, have fun, or whatever, but he's keeping to the he will, when he's work, he will come. Oh, okay, the hair. Okay, to your to, to the tiniest detail. He's very detailed. Babe, I literally fix nails on set. Like, don't play <laughs> with me. If we arrive and I see ish ah, neon nails, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Trust me, I'll enter my bag and I'll put nails and I will literally fix it there. I cannot even wait for a nail technician to arrive because at this point, it's like, it's now last minute. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people don't understand the thing about me and my job and my success is I am very intentional about the things that I want. So I don't send people. I don't mm -hmm. boss people around. I do the shit by myself. myself. If I have to, if your dress weighs 12 kg and I have to hold it down to red cap at the whole time, I will hold it. You know what I mean? Like, I do the shit by myself because I'm passionate about it. I love it. I enjoy doing it. So it's not like a job to me anymore. It's just like you're, you're doing what you love and you're making money. In the fashion industry, who would you say you look up to? Who would you say you admire? I admire a lot of people because my creativity comes from a broad network of human beings. And I really don't name drop with the people that inspire me because I feel like I protect the things that mean something to me. So there's a broad network of people that really, really inspire me. And it's just what it is. Swanky, this is your show. Swanky, this is huge. Oh. Young, so the thing is, I don't know if this episode will drop. So I think I'm the, 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 I'm shooting this it episode now, drop. but I, I intend to drop, drop it after, after his show. show ha. Right? <laughs> so you guys will understand <laughs> what I'm saying. It's because must. you guys cannot understand. I can't overemphasize it. Swanky is a, he's a born star. Like he walks into any room and he just owns it. This show is going to, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to go across the freaking world. Babe, what you just said is actually my reality because when I was filming, literally there are scenes where someone is like, yo, Swanky, like where's the energy? And I'm like, yo, I'm not your energy drink. Relax, <laughs> like chill. Because every time I come in, I'm coming in with, whoa, where, there, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens if I decide to stroll in? Like, must I arrive? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, literally, it is what it is. You cannot, there's no one like me. Hmm. There's nobody. Energy. Like me. So, you can only get one swanky. Maybe the person, they never born, but this, maybe they become later, but now, there's nobody. So, 
I understand that. And that's why I put in so much effort because my plan or my, my goals are to leave my legacy. You know what I mean? I want people to remember and say, ah, this guy. No, no how get you, to, but when no he called twins. you, how did you feel? You okay, know, I'll young, tell you. famous African. Because yeah. that's, you really, you're a guy that people would say, oh, I'm proud that he's African. Like, because when we go out in SA, so I see the way everybody, so they, so they, so they are shaking, Cape Town, they are, <laughs> so he won't kill me for Cape Town. Hey, hey. <laughs> this guy, I can't tell why I was saying. Certain people flow, other people wanted to now tap me, oh, please, we're ready to pay anything. At some point, I said, Jesus. I said, Swanky, I was I like, almost oh, Swanky. Please, I don't want money again. I don't, want. I don't want. I want to sleep. I'm like, Lily, are you trying to support my bag right now? <laughs> Lily says, Swanky, I don't tire. <laughs> I, they should carry their money. They should go. I know host the, I don't want to host the game. Like, it was that bad. Because for me, I feel like if you have worked so hard, if you have sold your sanity to the world and you have become popular, like, people are not allowed to take advantage. Mm. So if you want to have fun, people need to pay for you to have fun. So that's why I was like, babe, let's collect all this money. And I was like, I don't do it. No one want to collect it. It's okay. Let me. But when they called you for the show, how did you feel? What was your first reaction? When they called me for the show, I wasn't interested. Wow. The first time that I got a call through, I wasn't interested. Because for me, I enjoy the mystery of my brand. Reality TV, I've never ever shown myself on TV. People don't know who I am. People have no clue who the fuck this motherfucker is. So... I have never shown myself. So when I had reality, I'm like, you guys, I beg rest. Mm. I'm fine in my private life. I'm enjoying it. I'm working. Everything is going perfect. And first of all, it wasn't the first time that people were approaching me to do reality and X, Y, Z. But on that scale, Netflix original, mm -hmm. e, my mind first do gig I say, hey, Swanky, are you ready to receive this one? I was like, eh, no. This, they were literally like, I spoke to those guys for a while before I finally, and I spoke to a lot of people, like, you know, my egg bonds, like, yo, what do you guys think about this and XYZ, before I finally agreed to do this. So it's, it's not something that I was originally excited about or really wanted to jump on because I valued my private life. And also when I heard the, oh, oh, the I'm money. Like, yeah. Guys, let me tip. Let me give it. Maybe Swanky, Swanky dash. If Swanky wants me to come out, maybe he wants me to be somewhere. He's like, ah, oh, Lillian, come. Let's just have a private. Let's chill tonight. Hmm. I said, Swanky, you know me. I need, when I'm, he knows me. So once I go out, so once I'm leaving, Swanky just, it's okay. Take bundles so or I change. Or sometimes like, um. So maybe I. Okay, the last one that happened, I was trying to go out with him. I was like, oh, I just saw this hair. I want to go get a new hair because I don't want to wear makeup. He said, ah. I said, ah, Swanky, the hair costs too. I'm not. I beg. It doesn't. It's not what Swanky. Ah, send your account details. Ah. I said, God, my friend. Like, this, this 2022. I don't want, I want only rich friends. Please. See, he just said, do you really like it? I said, mm, I like it. You know, I'm not wearing makeup and everything. He's like, okay, just send back details, guys. <laughs> I'm like, that's my friendship goal. And I was super excited. And then it just, it just made me so happy because getting to this point, knowing how we've, you know, all the years, what we've been through, the hard work, the ups and down. I'm just happy you are finally in this place. My success is not an overnight success. People who know me know that I've put in the work. I've dressed every single, no get person where they, where there's no body that has become. So you know, put your phone for silence. That's one case. If I, if I, if, if I break your phone. <laughs> producer, you must not call this part because this is very. Silence. It's on silence. It's on silence. It was vibrating. It's on, okay, please put it away. Sorry. <laughs> What kind of thing is this? So, so guess what, mm -hmm. babe? There are people who have, who you can tell their success, like you can see their success story. You know how when God wants to bless you, before God blesses you with anything, He first prepares you for it. And the other day I called you on the phone. I was talking to you. I said, Lydia, I'm looking in my wardrobe. I have everything: Birkin, Gucci, Prada. Da, da, da. So all these things mean nothing. I said they actually mean now we you know before. Before you get oh, no, it, get it. Yes, exactly. They say, hey, jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now Why I can now? tell. I can, even if I can decide not to buy anything, nothing. Me, I know I can afford like, it. it doesn't like, matter. It doesn't it matter it. anymore. Like all these things don't mean. All of a sudden, they don't mean anything. Mm. Why? Because you're content. Why? Because you're dwelling in the blessing that God has given to you. It's beyond those things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's stepping somewhere and just shining without doing shit. I know.
So, well, you know that I am. I know this thing. I've noticed that anytime we work together or anytime you have clients, because you always tell me, sometimes when your client is working with a new client, like, I'm, I'm working with this person, I'm trying to do this. You're so involved in the creativity. You're so involved in creating the style. Swanky people, even to the earrings you will wear, the color. The confusion is this. People get it twisted. Being a creative director and being a stylist is different from being a fashion designer, right? If I'm working with a fashion designer, if I'm going to dress up someone, I send the designers my idea. If I'm working with a designer, I tell the designer, exactly what I want to see. Because before I work with people, I try to study them, I try to understand them. Do they have a fiance somewhere that would not like that they wear a high thigh slit? Mm -hmm. Like I actually study all of my clients. So I have back end knowledge, knowledge before I'm them. working with someone. My satisfaction comes from how I see my clients at the end of the day. You know they're hungry. I don't know. Where they go? I beg, I beg. I just say, I'm going to chop. More chop, more chop, more chop. When they chop, they chop, they go. Oh yeah, um, guys, you know now the favorite part now food. I don't know they're hungry. Someone can carry me with me. I'm gonna catch. Ah, please, please, bring the food, bring the food, bring the food. Okay, guys, let's eat now. We're back and we're ready to dive in. So actually, this is how me and Swanky eat. He's my foodie partner. We can't eat one it's thing. Partner. We eat right. Yeah, my foodie partner. Which mm. why you continue to eat it, but not the same thing. But the same thing. Don't start. I just have to come with my own. My they go young, famous African. Not the year you visit that one. Oh yeah, sorry, don't be angry. Uh -huh. So about to <laughs> dive. In. Funky, let's dive in, Biko. <sighs> what are you? Merci. You know this is the part why I they like. Do, why they do only one boy day? So now only you deserve to chop boy day. Yes, now. Mm. So Anki must chop boiled eggs. Especially okay. for me. Ah, this camera, I'm not going to let me eat this food the way I want to eat this chick talk you. I'm waiting with the chop something. Okay, uh, uh, ah, because... Uh, ah, I'll finish them. Ah, my wife will enjoy it, I'll be taking care of my... No, you actually... Ah, no, so Anki, you're so caring. I can cook, I can clean. I can make you look beautiful. Mm -mm. The food Why package. did they sell your market? Food, husband. <laughs> Why did you give me husband material? Hey, man. Hey, man. There's no. This, this is a. I don't understand that kind of talk. <laughs> I really don't understand it because this is. Let me leave. You know, for you, your waist needs to be snatched. I don't tell you I won't snatch my waist. I have money. I, I, if I get too big, <laughs> I fly to Miami, baby. <laughs> so don't talk, don't help me. Just can't talk me down. Listen, once you got money, you're good to go eat whatever. Are you selective about people you style? Yeah, I am. Mm, why? Every day I wake up, I get at least 500 emails or wow. more. DMs, I can't even cope with that. People that contact me that want me to dress them up, mm. I don't work with everybody. I always make reference to this, right? You see the likes of them, Kelechi Amadeo, B, T.Y. Bello, people who have been in the industry for like 40, 30 years, you know, and more. If you hear their price for a photo shoot, you would faint and wake up again. I agree. Now, it's been how many years? And they're still there. But they're still charging better than you who just came out six months ago. Why? Because they don't work with everybody. They still get the biggest jobs, mind you. So you're talking Nigerian breweries, Pepsi, um, you know, like proper mm -hmm. telecoms and like the people who like would give you the money that would change your life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't get those people because you're too random. You're everywhere. So if you hear swanky, that's why when I do a job, you know, and I'm not the kind of person right now who would work every day of my life. Hell no. But if I do one job, even if you've been working for seven months or mm -hmm. one year, that one job that I do would cover everything that is happening online. One me. client, one it's job. Let me back my money. I for my birthday shoot. Let <laughs> me back my body, but I pay for my birthday shoot. If I knew, if I knew then, this is the money you collected. Thank <laughs> you. Better pay me back. Friends, supporting friends, you collect mm, how many thousand dollars from my hand? Yeah. Money. But anyway, I still collect. I still collect it from you, so that's fine. Collect right it back. Swanky, since I've known you, you never break. Now me, they call you the mm. breakdown. Mm. You know the break. Swanky, <laughs> Swanky, know they cry. This boy. I never see. So, Anki, tell us why you never break down. There has to be a story behind that, your tough skin. I need to, me, Seb, I want to know. In the past, mm -hmm. I used to be like a cry cry baby. A majority part of my life, I spent it, like I always say, encouraging people, right? So, for example, say you come in and you cry about a situation. Ah, so, Anki, I don't lose money. Something happened, right? 
Imagine me also crying with you. Like, wouldn't you be more confused? You know what I mean? So now, when people, because I'm, I'm Cancerian, my star sign allows me to accommodate a lot of people who, like, I'm that guy who would always have a solution. I'm that guy who would always have, there's always a way out with Swanky. So no matter how big the problem be, there's always someone, there's always something. Now, I'm so used to that in such a way that I actually, even when I'm down, sometimes I just try to fight it and I protect myself because I feel like I have people depending on me. You know what I mean? But my the point where I completely became a monster was when I lost my dad. When I lost my dad, I think I cried so much. I drank so much. I was so devastated. I think I've cried all the cry where I won't cry for this life. I don't cry or the cry finish. So for me now, it's like nothing moves me. Nothing shakes wow. me. Everything that happens to me, I just see it as life experience, learning, like nothing. So if you like, see from now to tomorrow. I appreciate the fact that we've gotten to this point where we are and we can sit down, look back at the past and laugh. Those things that used to shake us. Hey, I'm not post today. I remember the I could share. How many likes? How many comments? I don't even care anymore. Yeah, you know, I don't even care. Even to put even feel like you know, I don't even want your comment. I don't want to nothing. know what you think. Yeah, and you know, I really at don't some care. point, at some point in my life, I felt like my fans were controlling me. Like if I don't post in not two just days, you it might be end. Yeah. Are you okay, sir? What's happening? You're not posting in two days. You now be. I'm like, what should I post? Uh, I okay, mean, which picture? Like, I was. I felt like at some point I was actually leaving for other people. So now it feels so good that I am leaving for myself. If I feel like posting tomorrow, I would post. If I feel like posting next month, after all, I've been posting for 12 years. Hello, good morning. Go down. Like, you know what I mean? Like, be, you know if you watch Finish, they watch, they go. <laughs> because really, like, I've already dedicated a decade of my life to you all. So now it's about time for me to, you know, focus on me. I thought that's it. Like, I need to freaking chill. You, you said you yeah. could minus your age. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> right. are good. So, yeah, so said that during pandemic, he didn't, he, he minus those years. Yeah, so pandemic 20. years, we have to minus it too. So he says he's going to minus two years. So if I'm minusing pandemic... Yes, I'll be like 28. Yeah. So it's still under 30, like chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so for me, I just feel like when you grow, the things that used to interest you will no longer interest you. The things that, like your goals just change. Everyone would get to a point where they want to through experience. You can't really teach people. You can't really mm -hmm. experience is actually explain to people. Yeah, teacher, you know, you just... It's like telling someone, oh, Lily, I don't be friends with this person. No, it's bullshit because... Swanky will not... Swanky! Me, how? Swanky will allow you going to this, this guy. Uh, no, you gonna, have to actually My friend, experience. like, I was friends with him. Swanky would never say, Lily, he will leave me. You have Come to back. experience it See, before. Swanky, you mm. like, mm, okay, mm. he will never contribute this one. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. He will say, like, okay, moving on. Because I'm one of those people who tell people, be careful of the people that tell you to be careful of other people. So if I see someone, I mean, except I see that you are in extreme danger before I would ever say, oh, X, Y, Z. But if I see it's just a process where you need to learn something, I let you learn it because mm. you'll never forget that process. As opposed to me telling you, you can't even forget what I said, but you will not forget your experience. It's like traveling. When they say this one, they leave for airports. Now, airport, they sleep every day, <laughs> catching flights, not feeling this. Like? It's experience that you cannot take away from me. I suspect you as you talk. Mm, see? I said you didn't love this period. I just uh. for your eyes, I said you didn't love So I there's something I can see in your eyes. I can see some. I can see it in your eyes. I can see clear. Okay, guys, I'm definitely not playing games in this episode because I know my friend, Swanky, you know they like all this kind of game game. He will say, Lily, just bring the shots. Bring the shots, no drink, I I'll beg, no six. time. He's ready because, like, we're out. Are we hitting We're shots? outside now. I have make up everything glam. Mm. So, we're going to finish our food. But thank you all for watching. You know, on Lillian's couch is eat, drink, and buy. Swanky, my friend, I love you so much. I love you, you know, too, baby. You always come through for me. So, thank mm -hmm. you. I love you. I love, love you. Thank too, you mama. so much, guys. I love you all. Mwah! Me, I'm taking this teddy home, Sha. You know, the name of the teddy is Bash. Now, my northern boyfriend, we don't feel you. It's a little boy, man. Of course.